Hello everybody and welcome to episode 26 of Stoneblock. I want to talk just a little bit about how I'm not making videos as often because I still have a few health problems. I had a ultrasound inspection and everything seems to be okay, so we I got that going for me for at least. I'm currently on some antibiotics to get rid of this bacterial infection that I had that kind of rose up to my kidneys and stuff and it, it is what it is. But I'm going to be on this medication for this week and then another week-ish, kind of. So I have, I think, possibly like more more like another week total. That is, that is kind of it. But um, that, in, that in mind, I'm going to be making a video. This is going to be Wednesday's video and then probably a video on Friday. And then for the next week, we'll see how I am and how I will be with my health and stuff. And if everything's going to be fine, I'll be hopefully going back to more videos and some streams as well. And hopefully by, I don't know, possibly December <laughs> and I should be sooner than just December, but possibly by December, I'll get back to making regular five videos a week, four streams a week, and we should be good on that. Uh, and I want to talk about a little bit about what I did here. Uh, we did a stream, so I did a lot of chisel and bitsing, so this entire wall is chisel and bitsed into the half of it. And also down here we have some chisel and bitsing that you kind of can notice if you look specifically at that corner, but if you look at the room just in general, you don't really notice it. And I did a few changes with the rainbow generator because AE was being weird, and I had this cable, I believe it was hooked up to this one, but basically I had a cable you can see now that there's two out of 32 channels used because I'm only using one channel here to export Dragon's Breath, which I could do with an address if I wanted to, and one to export Flim Flam books, which is a thing that people said in the comments, and I basically did it in the stream, I believe on Tuesday. Oh, hello, and stop. Thank you. Uh, so basically I did this on stream on Tuesday last week, uh, so a week ago. Uh, and basically Flim Flam books are, they have a recipe that isn't, I believe, in the system or in JEI, but basically you take a book and then emeralds, which we have in unlimited amounts. And if you add one, you get Flim Flam one, you get Flim Flam two, and then three and four you get with four emeralds. And that lasts for like 33 minutes, which is insane. So that just lasts us quite a while. Uh, and for the rest of them, I basically just took chickens and put specifically chickens. Uh, so let's go around and let me just show you all of them. We're going to start here on the left. Um, yeah, let's start over here with these two. We have the gunpowder chicken putting it into the TNT generator. Then we have this guy making lava eggs, which are automatically pulled by this um, this gener or this crafter that then pushes lava pushes a lava bucket into here and then pushes it into the liquid phase, so we get heated redstone generators going. Then over here, I also have flat transfer nodes in between here. I can actually show you if I grab a moving wand. Hopefully I have it there. Yeah, there it is. Um, and that just pulls the redstone one at a time into the generator. Over here, I have another lava chicken pulling the same thing, doing the same thing, pushing into here for the lava generator. Then over here, I am, am I making enough eggs? I'm making enough eggs, wonderful. So I, I don't know if one is gonna, one would keep up, but two at least are keeping up. But basically, uh, this can automatically in, input, so that is just pulling eggs from here. And then I have flat transfer nodes here and then on the bottom there, and they're putting feathers into the trash can uh, for the culinary generator. And apparently this doesn't need to be here anymore. Uh, actually, it needs to be here because that requires power. Actually, we can do this. Hold up. Let's just get a specter coil because this is not using that much RF, so we can just, just have that there and this should be good. Okay, so here we have a log chicken. It's making sticks. Sticks are being put into the furnace survival generator. And also, I believe that's the furnace generator with exactly the same setup. Then over here, we're just extracting nether stars out of the black ender chest that we have that we're using to move around at the wood farm. So that's for the nether star generator. The death generator is bone chickens. There, I could be extracting bone meal faster if I use a, used a conduit, but as you can see, we don't have to. We're getting like bone meal for days. So once this is, whoops, of course everything flies out because things didn't go the, the right way. Uh, and now I need another flat transfer node so we can open the GUI for this hopefully this will still extract um, 
We'll see. Uh, is it running right now? It is. Okay, so I will get a milk bucket because the death generator is the most annoying generator ever. But at least we can get, uh, get rid of uh, get rid of that. Hopefully we still get saturation. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is gonna pull, but I generally did. I basically I think I did this before. I had that here, and then I had the filter there. So I think that was the case, uh, and that should be pulling. But that is the case for the bone mill. Then over here we have just slime being extracted into here and I can also do, since we're doing flat transfer nodes for everything, let's just put a flat transfer node there and that should take care of the slime. Uh, and I could also do the same thing here. So let's grab some more flat transfer nodes. I have two left. So let's put one there and then just move you over and grab the conduit. Uh, then over here we have a sink extracting water making ice so that makes the ice in the frosty generator and also like all of the snow um, I don't know if there's a way to get rid of it. Uh, I mean Lighting up everything would be the way to get rid of it. Uh, get because th there's a thingy from tinkers, right? Uh, there's like glow dust of some kind if I recall correctly somebody showed it to me on stream I believe and you can also toss it is it like, I'm gonna look at glow, cause it's, it's made with glowstone. Well, I'm not gonna look the recipes now, but I could light up everything I think, and then it shouldn't make snow, or we could put like string down, or maybe chisel in bits, like bits. Or possibly we could just chisel these blocks. I don't know if snow can generate on chiseled blocks, if we do chisel in bits, but I don't think we can get it for here at least, so that's just what it is, it's snow, it doesn't really matter that much. Then over here we have another log, making sticks, putting into the overclocked generator, which looks like it's keeping up so everything should be fine. Then over here we're exporting the flim flam books as I said, here is the same system for water bottles, so this is always out of power, but it is always running. Uh, over here, dragon's breath, same thing. Then over here we have pink dye, same thing, we can use a flat transfer node, uh, and put it, can I not, that, I, like, I thought I was holding the flat transfer node, I was not, apparently, so we'll see if that is good, is that putting, the, see, that's not putting it in, which is really wonky, um, so let's take this off, and put the, Take this here, put this here, and then grab the transfer node and put it on there. Because I don't rec really know how they work. Is it, do they have to be placed on a specific thing? But it looks like it's working now, so that should be good. Is it transferring fast enough? Yeah, it is, okay, wonderful. Over here, we can do the same thing with the flat transfer node, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's what I did. So we're kind of less reliant on uh, AE because half of the th half of the generators just stopped working because AE stopped connecting for no apparent reason, and this is slightly flickering. Why are you flickering? It did fl which which generator was it? It was a generator. Okay, well we'll sort it later. But for today, I want to get this room kind of finished. I don't know if we're gonna change the ceiling that much. We could just change it all to sheet metal and be done with it. That could be a thing, but I'll possibly do that on stream. Uh, I don't really want to go and do a lot of building right now. So I think we are going to finish off the floor and the ceiling. I possibly want to just change it for sheet metal and that will look perfectly fine, I think. Or maybe find a third block that would fit in the floor. Um, I don't think these quartz pillars are really fitting in, so we might try and find a different block. But what I want to do, if we grab some, uh, not laboratory, factory box, some of these yellow ones, uh, and possibly go maybe to here. And then I want to kind of layer it out to here. So we can do that. Or possibly, no, let's go here. Let's go take this off the bar. Let's go to here and then do... Mm, will that be fine? That's kind of wonky. Um, what if we go to here? Because I want to have some sort of connection to here. So we're gonna basically take this, at least this, off to the to the to the steel fence. Fence? I can't talk. To the steel fence, and then have uh, some sort of thing. 
possibly just go in around maybe like that. Does that look okay? That looks kind of weird. Uh, but what I want it is kind of like a thingy that cuts it off. And I don't know if I will go to underneath of the generator. And that might look better if we do that. It's just weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sold. But basically, I'm going to try and get something of a good sense that goes from there to here and cuts off the, the generators. I might even just leave it leave it as is and not worry about it that much because we just have it hidden and it doesn't really matter that much. I am out of stone because I used it there. So let's grab this. I know I'm doing a lot of things on camera, but that's fine. So what I want to do is kind of make an entranceway of sorts and see about getting that looking really nice. So I'm going to try building that and I'm going to show it to you once I hopefully have it built. I have finished a little bit of the building. I decided to go with this sturdy factory block because it's kind of a white to the dark that we have with the steel sheet metal and also the lead sheet metal. And I would could, or I would probably wanna go around here and texturize this the same way I texturized that, but that is quite a lot of chisel and bitsy work. And well, not that much. I just need to chisel a bunch of lead sheet metal and then get a copy of one thing. And then the problem is the corners cause they're just like on the one thing. So you could get, nitpicky about how you want to do it, but um, I don't want to do it as of right now, so it's all good in the hood. Uh, I still have this uh, enhanced building guide here for whenever I need to do things with circles, but I don't think we're going to need this anymore. And I said, I think in one of the streams, that I want to go and make a super big reactor, just because we can. And we have Yellorium chickens, right? Uh, yeah, there's yellow, right? Yellorium chickles. chickles. Uh, and we have 56k Yellorium, so we could potentially have enough Yellorium chickens to make enough Yellorium to run a super huge uh, extreme reactor. So that could be a neat thing to do in the future, but I'm not going to do that today. Today, I really think we need an empowering room and a draconic fusion crafting room. So I want to go somewhere in and around my base where we could set that, or the, we could, where we could set that up. We could, well, I have this machine. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing the compressed redstone thing, right? Uh, I could move that over here if I wanted to, but that's okay. We're not gonna expand that way or this way. And apparently I missed some blocks here. I'll have to fix that in a moment. Um, but over here, I don't really wanna expand because this is kind of closed off and open and it shouldn't, I mean, we can <laughs> kind of, if we wanted to just do, like a three by three here, a three by three there, and then make a room on either side for empowering and for draconic fusion crafting. That could be a thing. Or, cause that's quite a long walk to be honest, to get there. Uh, we could go down here where we have all of the mechanical stuff. I still wanna keep this kind of like AE-ish. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna get around to texturizing and doing all the all the leafage and stuff. I mean, we can we can just do that on stream. So that that should be fine. Uh, cause all of that needs to happen like all the way down here. We finished over to here and then this enchanting area. Uh, this thankfully doesn't require texturizing, but over here uh, down, I need to do texturizing. So what I think I'll do is over here, since we, we decided that we need another room, uh, we can't really go that much in here, but this like at least needs to be broken up a bit just so it has a bit of, a bit of texture ish kind of, but we need to go down here in a way, and I don't wanna just start up blowing it up with TNT because I'm gonna blow up the entire mana glass uh, pane here. So I'll dig a around a little bit and go down. Uh, hello, wood. You're, you're, you're just wood that is not visible, right? Yeah, that was from before. Um, I also, I think I saw a comment, uh, if I recall correctly, why my time was going nuts. It was because I had this in my bubbles and it speeds up everything around me apparently. Uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know if it works uh, just when it's on me, if it just does um, this time, but it basically you can set it to rewind, which is really neat because then you can rewind the time. I don't know what, what you would use it for, but this is on fast forward. And if it's not in my hand, it doesn't work. Gives It gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick. So on the pedestal. So I would need to get a dark matter pedestal, dark matter 
pedestal, which is this, which is four red matter and four dark matter, uh, or five dark matter blocks. And I don't think I, I have dark matter right here. I have enough to make the the five blocks that we need, but the red matter I don't have in the system. So each red matter is three dark matter and then internally spewed. So we would need four times three, that's 12 dark matter. So let's just request that and that'll that'll just craft over time. Um, that should start, hopefully. I think I have enough. If I craft it 20 at a time, yeah, there it goes. So this is gonna make, it's 6,000 coal, it's not that much, but it just needs to do all the crafting. Uh, a block that matters, wonderful. Okay, so let me do a bit of dig digging and we can then start getting a room going for the for the fusion crafting and for empowering and get that out of the way so we have that set up in a permanent way. After a little bit of digging and a little bit of TNTing, we have a room and I have already set up the draconic fusion crafting, at least just place the blocks and down back here you can see I have facaded some of the cryostabilized flux ducts and they have flux points back there. So that is all good. I don't know if I really wanna get into super auto crafting with this because I don't think it's really necessary because we're not gonna be auto crafting that many things that we can do just do manually because I really don't think we're gonna need it to be honest. So the only thing I'll really automate is this, uh, which I have done for one thing. Uh, basically, we have an, a crate here. It's named Empower, but I believe we have to uh, take this interface and name it so it would change in the AE system. But let me grab you and name this interface Empowerer. There we go. And then we can put it here. And it's going to connect and we can give it the recipe for Empower Diamond Tin Crystal Blocks, which is a processing pattern. So what it's going to do is going to put whoops, it's gonna put two clay, one clay block and one light blue dye and one diamantine crystal block in this in this chest. And everything is gonna get distributed through filters into its corresponding spot. And then when it's processed, it's gonna get extracted on the red channel and put back into here and the importer will put it back into here. And we can have a total of nine per importer. So we could add another importer if we have more recipes than that. But I believe the basic empowering ones, if we look at empowered, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And then for recipes here, we can make the repair talisman, which is just one recipe. We are not gonna need to auto craft that. And then we have one, two, and three for the covalence dusts. And if we wanted to do empowered canola, which I don't think we will, so that's not a problem. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the total. So it should be nice and neat and good for that. And what I can do now, if I go here and go into empowered, and we take this out just so you can see that there's a recipe. I can say next. It says everything's available. You press start and it starts auto crafting. And then when it finishes, if we give it a bit of a boost, that it's finished, extracted, imported. Wonderful. So I'm gonna set up the rest of the recipes that we need. And then I think we can possibly, uh, actually, do we have the, the dark matter now? We do. We need the, this thing. Um, how much would we need? It's three dark matter in the middle, so twice the amount. So 24, I believe, should be what we need to get that done. So that's going to be another 1,000 coal to craft. That's fine. That's not going to take that long. Uh, so that is neat. Let me go set up all of the other recipes that I need for this. And then we can cover this up and call it a day, basically. So... Um, maybe go into some project D as well, because in the questing, we're kind of getting to the end game actually. Well, we're, we've are we been in the end game for a while. We could have just done project D and finished this, pro this pack in like 10 episodes ago, but that wasn't my point. I'm gonna just accept this quest because we have it. So we get a loot chest and we also can do the dark matter one because we have the dark matter here. So we can claim this and then the red matter the red matter is uh, the eternalist thingy, right? Do we have a couple? We do. So if we do this, we could get a red matter as well going. We can claim that. Wonderful. 
And we haven't made anything from here. So we need the Klein star, we need a transmutation table. Alchemical chest is why we need the empowering things. So let's just open up these loot chests. We get some chance cubes, we get a growth crystal, and we get 16 mana steel. Nothing too interesting. But I believe we need for the for this guy, we need four. So we have that should be all we need, right? And we could make this now. And if I grab this, uh, what do we want to see sped up? I don't know what the range on this is. Um, are you, did you actually finish? No, I turned off the quarry, I believe. Yeah, I have it off at the time. Um, what can we super speed up? Does, would it, would it work with the generator? Would that like super speedy up if we do this? Is this like doing? Okay, so we're seeing it increase that fast. If I take this off, I think I have to left click, yeah. So this is regular speed. I think it's the same. Oh, I might have this in my hand, no. Looks like it's the same, I think. It doesn't really make a difference, but it speeds up machines nonetheless, so we can use it for something if we need to. Uh, I don't really know if it would work with chickens. Uh, which one is the chickens? This, these, the large one, I believe it's this one. Any time now. Hello chickens, I haven't been here in a while. Hi, so where where is our like super, super chickens, these? If I put this here, we see the speed of this, okay. Yep, that definitely speeds up ticks. Don't know how it speeds it fast enough that the conduits can't handle it. Don't know what the range on this is. What if I put it, if I put it in the middle here and place this on, does it reach to here? I would, I'll have to check what the range is, but if we, if we hold it in our hand and say to fast forward, it doesn't really, it works on the day. You can see on the top left, it really speeds up the time uh, or go, makes it go back, but it doesn't work specifically on entities unless you put it in the, the pedestal here. And then again, I have to right click it, I assume. Yeah. So it works, it doesn't work on this. It works on these, so I assume it's just like a a three by three, be, or a three by three by three possibly. Yeah, it's working on the nether quartz. It doesn't work on, oh, it is working on the emeralds, and also on the redstone, and also on the glowstone, the diamonds as well, the coal, the draconium. Just feels like it's slower because the awakened draconium is faster, which is really weird. Okay, so it is. I assume working on those, on those, but yeah, it's really neat. Okay, so that that's the 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 watch of flowing time, uh, and let's just get out of here with my dislocator. I'm getting some some like frame starter ring, so I think we're it's it's time to finish off the pack because the the amount of things we built in here in this world it's it's really t taking a, a a tanking on my frames. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get it sorted out. Okay, so let me get and also yeah I forgot to mention I set up these some travel anchors are all around the place so we can get get to places better. So we can get to Woot, we can get to Empowering, we can get to the AE system. So it's just a bit faster because running down to this Empowering thing took forever. <laughs> so I can just zerp around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let me set up the rest of the recipes and then we're gonna possibly make the alchemical chest and start progressing through these project e-quests. All of the recipes are set up down here. We have the interface here with all of the recipes and then the importer can put all of the stuff and everything works and is all good and dandy. And over the top here, we need another component for the alchemical chest, which is the evil infused iron, I believe it's called. Yeah, evil infused iron ingots. And that is made in here in the enchanter. I've already made a stack of blocks because why not? 
Uh, it is just nether stars and iron. It takes a stack and eight no of nether stars to do a stack of blocks. So now that we have that, I believe we can just craft the alchemical chest, which is a quest as well. There we go. We can claim that. And the next one is the energy condenser. So let's go do that real fast. I need to go, I believe, to the fusion crafting. And if we look at uses for this in the fusion crafting, we need red matter, dark matter, a dirt chest and a crystal chest. So let me craft all of that up. We need the red matter, red. I don't have the red matter on the recipes. Hold up. Since we need a lot of Eternalis fuel anyway, I just set up this quick little system of turning coal into alchemical coal and then into Mobius fuel and then into Eternalis fuel. And I'm just gonna keep four stacks in here. I added a storage bus that is extract only. So if we look in here, we now see Eternalis fuel and we can just craft dark matter and red matter as we please it We're not gonna need that much and plus once we get the energy condenser we can just can use uh, What you call it EMC to get it anyway, so the energy Condenser is uh, a dirt chest So let me just open up this so we can craft it up which is just a dirt chest apparently it used puzzle and then a Diamond chest. Do we have recipes for that? I don't think so. So let me craft a diamond chest. Okay, we'll, I think we have everything. So we can put a chest here and a chest here just for, for reasons being. And then we need a little bit of space on the hotbar. So we can do one, two, three, and four. And then one, two. Nope, that, that was all four. Oh, you have... They have single item modes. Interesting. So they can only accept... Inactive, active. I don't know. Hold up, if it's... Ah! That is neat. I didn't know that, because now, for example, if I grab some stuff, I can just single item mode them onto the thing, and that's really cool. Is that not the recipe? What did I miss? Two of the... Oh, chemical chest. Dirt chest. 9,000. Crystal chest. Two red matters. They might be too far apart. They might need to be closer. So let me fix this. All I had to do was move this up by one block. <laughs> okay, it works now. We can speed it up and then finish the craft. Wonderful, energy condenser, nice. That's also a quest. So let's claim the loot bag and see what it is. It's eight magical speed upgrades, wonderful. So with this now, we can, for example, uh, take, oh, we need dark matter, for example, for a lot of it. So let's grab a dark matter. It's gonna craft it really fast. And also a red matter. And then let's grab some nether stars because we have quite a bit of those. Also, no, you know what we have a lot of? Dragon eggs. We have a lot of those as well. Because I specifically made a farm. I don't even know if I showed it on video. Uh, I might have. But what we can do is take this. It's going to make us a bit of red matter. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just stop it there. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And just make some more dark matter for me, please. I can actually take the, some of the dragon eggs out. And it's it absorbed a bunch of the EMC anyway. So it's going to make a couple of these. So then for the energy condenser Mark II, we need red matter blocks. We need a quantum storage unit, quantum storage unit, and a matter relay 3. So we need to do a little bit of crafting for this. So let me prepare a little of the a lot of the ingredients that we need and we're going to do a little bit of crafting together. First craft that we need is the uh what you call it? It's the energy collector MK1. So we need that going. So as soon as it starts crafting, we can just speed it up and then the second the next one is the obsidian part. So we need the same recipe just with obsidian so we can do that and then start that up. I believe the speeding up doesn't work on the charging because it needs to absorb the energy. So that is all good. Then the antimatter relay. And then the next one, I believe it's the same. I think it's, that's five, six, seven, plus a dark matter, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So that's one of those, the second tier. I could also copy these, but I can just copy the MK3 if we need to craft more. So I'll put the this one in here now again, and then grab the obsidian. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a red matter. 
So that should be the third one. And we're gonna grab our energy condenser and put it down and we can just copy it with some dragon eggs, possibly. So if we craft this up, this is six, 600 something. So let's just uh, copy this a little bit. Actually, we could just craft another another energy condenser, but that, that made the second one, so that is fine. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a dark matter. So it's kind of the same thing, so we can wait for that. Just a tiny moment. Okay. And then uh, red matter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then start that up. Okay, MK3. We'll put this in here and give you enough to make one. There we go. Uh, then these, our quantum storage units are super, are kind of simple, so we can just craft those. I set up the recipe for the energy condenser MK2, which is the quantum storage units. I just copied them with the energy condenser a couple of times, and then the energy collector and the antimatter relay MK3, which I believe we're only gonna need to craft two of these energy condensers, because then we can just copy it over. So what we need to do now is do the uh, another basic energy condenser. So we need another, I made another crystal chest and another dirt chest, and then I believe we need just another alchemical chest which should be simple enough as soon as we craft another diamond chest. I've crafted so many diamond chests, it's been insane. Well, not that many, but it's just the, the entire crafting step. So let's just make a couple more um, like that. And then just the diamond. Okay, finally, thank you. Nope, not the diamond chest. We need this, 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 boom. Okay, boom, start. And while in the meantime, we can collect the quest for this. Wonderful. And then get 12 Eldorate Tour. Sure. Okay. So we have the energy condenser MK1. And let's just, let's just do this for, for the time being. I don't know where, I don't know if we're going to need it. But let's just get a couple of these. And then take the one and then do the recipe again. So we need uh, another couple blocks of this. And I have blocks of this and then the quantum storage units, and I have the antimatter relays, so we can put that there, that there, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the quantum storage units in the bottom, and make the second energy condenser MK2. I don't think the MK1s we're ever gonna need, but I'm gonna keep them just, just in case, because we can uh, teach them to the tablet uh, eventually. So for the time being, we have MK2s, and now we can just do this and that, and then let's say toss the red matter, dark matter, toss those in there, those in there. We don't really need the anything else because everything that has EMC can be tossed in there. So if we grab, yeah, we have 10 more dark matter blocks and let's grab some more dragon eggs. Just a bunch here. Like so, and we can toss all of those in there and then we have energy condensers MK2 for whatever purpose we need them and that should have stayed there and not be put down. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so energy condensers MK2, we can now make things from EMC, which is really cool. We can pump, we can pump things with an export bus until we're out of them, for example, dragon eggs or something and convert them into higher EMCable blocks if we wanted to. So for example, uh, if we go down here where we have the, the super thing, if we take this and grab an export bus, uh, and put the export bus over here. I think that is one, two, three, four. That's four, five, six, that should be fine. And grab a dragon egg and put that in there and some speed upgrades. That should start exporting dragon eggs. And then we can take, for example, uh, let's say red matter and craft four of these. Actually, no, we can just say energy condensers. Just make those. Uh, and it's gonna export the dragon eggs as much as it can and fill this entire thing with energy condensers. So basically just condensing the EMC into something that has more of it, uh, which for example, we can get now um, the Klein stars. So Klein star, Klein star, if I do this correctly, 
Uh, this isn't too difficult to craft. So if we grab uh, Mobius fuel, we need eight of that. Mobius. We have 64 in the system because it's on the thing. Nice. Uh, does it grab it out? I cannot grab it out though. Okay. Um, so let's go in here because it's in it's in here and it shows it, but it's in here. So we can just grab a stack and then put this in here. And we need one, two, three, four of these. And we can craft them into this guy. So this is still exporting the thing and stop making those, please. And just make me a couple of these. Okay, that's too many, uh, actually. Um, so let me stop exporting because <laughs> that made that made all of the things. Uh, let's just do this. Hold up. Put another one here just so we can craft these stuff and we c these all have EMC. So I believe we can just toss all of these in here. Why are you? So oh, it's going to still make the thing. Let's turn turn it into this, please. And let's do control shift Q. complications okay so now I lost my, my crafting recipes okay basically I'm gonna craft this up the Klein star Omega and we can just uh, turn that into a repair talisman okay I crafted the Klein star Omega and I copied it so we have one in the system for the future so we can teach it to our table but we need a mending book a payless crystal block an emiratic crystal block and a block of diamond and then the Klein star sphere in the middle if I can I cannot physically enter it into the thing so we are gonna do this filter add this and then insert it Oh, okay, sure. Um, so I need to do, <laughs> God, why? Why did I not look that it's Klein Star Sphere? It's not the Klein Star thingy. Um, okay, so let me just grab a little bit of this and then take it to over here and do a little bit of that. And then we do a little bit of craftingness. I don't think I'll have enough. Because this is going to make the, the three. And then this, the three needs to go to a four. And then it's just, uh... okay, let me do this again. So the Kleinstar sphere now is going to make us the thing that we want. Eventually, how much power does this take? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. But it's the right recipe, I think. Yeah, it is making the particles. There it is. Okay, so it extracted it and put it into here, I believe. Yep, there we go. So now we can put this, I believe, in our bobble slot here. Instead of advancing our time super fast with the watch of time. Every time I tossed it in this, tried to toss it in the system, it goes into your bobbles first. So that's uh, funkiness. But now I don't think we need this repair tablet anymore. We can just repair the other stuff, like, for example, this chisel. If we keep it in our inventory, I believe it should repair itself. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I think this is going to be it for today. We did a bit of AE stuff. We got the energy condenser. We got that going for us. So that is really cool. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want to see more. Do more. That's the one. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.